Hey, James G here. Today on uh, Persona Studio One, we're going to be showing the startup screen. So if you're new to the software, once you load it up, um, you will see this screen. It's the very first thing you see. So we're just going to give a general overview of what you're looking at. So this top corner here, very important. This is the new. So once you hit that, that's going to start a new song for you. Um, and the cool thing with Studio One Six is they actually added some templates here. So whether you're a you know a gaming content guy or if you're doing a, a maybe some you know electronic music, whatever it is, there's probably a template here to help you just kind of get started. The first one here is the record and mix the new Studio One song. That is literally just pulls up a blank canvas of a song for you. And uh, when we show that screen in that video, this is what we'll be using. You also have users, so you can save your own templates. Um, I actually have two that I use all the time here at Tarpley. This is our template for In The Mix, where I do all the backing tracks for a lot of those demo videos. And then this is for the YouTube audio itself of the video. And so I'm constantly using those, so I just made templates for it. Uh, next here you have, this is your open. This is just to open files in your old school kind of folder way. Uh, this is, of course, a Mac, but it would just pull up your folders for a PC as well. You can also go down here, and here's all your recent files. It's just the same thing for uploading. If you go to songs, this is all the songs that you saved, and it will be in alphabetical order. The next one is projects. Uh, now, Projects is the mastering software that comes with Studio One Professional. So if you have Studio One Professional or you're paying the monthly uh, Sphere subscription, then you will also have Studio One Professional. And it includes all your mastering software, which, which are called Projects in the software. Uh, if you have Studio One Artist, uh, you won't see this project section there, and that's why. The next one is Shows because uh, Studio One uh, 6 can actually do live uh, show recording and you can save those uh, files also. So very easy to pull up your files or to start a new file. This is the artist section here where you can put your pretty little picture. Um, you can put your, you know, kind of what music you're doing on your website and that kind of info. And that will get stamped, I believe, to the, the file. Like if you're sending files, uh, you might be, you know, sending them to someone else to add some tracks or whatever. So you kind of want that to go with it. And this middle section here is connecting with SoundCloud. You'll also see at the top left, there's a SoundCloud icon, and it does the same thing. You can hit that. You can just add tracks directly to your SoundCloud. Um, that is straight from your mastering software. So you can go to the project. You're mastering your software. You can just upload it straight to your SoundCloud. And I know a lot of engineers, myself included, where that's where I send them all there just so you can, you can send people there. Hey, here's some work I've done, right? And then the bottom part here is the setup screen, and we'll go over that in detail for your you first timers who are setting up your interface and what that looks like. And then here's a news feed, and it always you can refresh it. It always has really cool articles. I go to it all the time. Um, there's a lot of cool articles on how to you know maybe some miking effects or something like that. New plugins. A lot of times I'll find deals on plugins. I've seen links to free plugins. So that's all that really is, is uh, all you can scroll down your news feed. And then below that is all your social media uh, links. And then on the top right here is just this little person icon is just uh, who you are and that it's under your account. And uh, I know some people uh, who are studying uh, recording and stuff like that, they, they're all going in there and there's several different accounts. So you want to make sure it's under yours. But And then this little icon is if you're transferring. So you bought some loops or something and you're transferring those files. That's how you can know if they've been downloaded. So that's a real uh, short overview of what the startup screen looks like. It's not real confusing. It's pretty straightforward, but it's kind of nice to get an overview of what all these buttons do.